The Southern Sanawa cultural tradition covers a vast landscape in central Arizona known as the Verde Valley. Although we do not know what the Sanawa people called themselves, the modern label translates to without water. This Spanish name is quite inaccurate when referring to the early ancestors of modern Hopi people. In reality, Sanawa people had vast amounts of water from the Verde River that cut across the landscape and offered rich resources for building and crafting materials. Thanks to the hard work of archaeologists such as Peter Pillis, we have gained tremendous insight on how Sanawa people conducted their complex lives. The earliest group of Sanawa people appear in the archaeological record around AD 600, where settlements including pit homes were constructed and trading with groups to the south, north, and west occurred. Trade items included already crafted shell ornaments, minerals, decorated ceramics, copper bells, macaws, feathers, food items, and much more. Sometime around AD 1100, we see a gradual shift away from pit house architecture and towards Pueblo structures. Some hilltop Pueblos such as Sugarloaf and Tuzigut were constructed during the Hanonki phase around AD 1150 and begin as smaller Pueblo units. During this phase, archaeology finds its greatest density of cliff dwellings. When the Hanonki phase ends around 1300, Pueblos are much larger and some outlying populations that are smaller in size begin to migrate into sites such as Bridgeport, Sugarloaf, and Tuzigut to form larger city-states. Although Sanawa people did not decorate their ceramics, production and distribution of plainwares throughout time and space is evident throughout the archaeological record. During the later Tuzigut phase, we see a high and somewhat equal distribution of locally produced plain and redware vessels in and around large city-states. While decorated black on white pots are still imported, a new density of Jedito wares appear around 1300 to 1450, sometimes even depicting horned serpent and macaw motifs. While ceramics made in the Verde Valley lacked exquisite decorations, most archaeologists agree the finest textiles and tapestries come from the Sanawa world. Textile fragments and complete pieces are tightly woven and very colorful, often displaying geometric designs with precise lines that do not run off course. Some of the finest and best preserved pieces came from the Dyke Collection and are displayed in the Verde Valley Archaeology Center. Across the American Southwest, prehistoric people made large quantities of shell and stone jewelry. To the south, Hohokam people crafted complex and stunning shell ornaments. Further north in Arizona, Sanawa groups obtained complete shell items and ornaments while crafting large quantities of stone jewelry. Argillite is a soft clay-like stone that was highly prized in central and northern Arizona. Sanawa traders obtained argillite from the Prescott area in its raw form and transformed the stone into beads, pendants, and effigy pieces. Beaded necklaces were some of the finest and most delicate pieces in all of Arizona, some displaying beads as small as a pepper flake. The Sanawa economy was based on trade, influence from Mexico, ideology, and power structures. Around 1400, the Verde Valley lost a large majority of the local population. Questions become, why would the Sanawa people want to leave such fertile lands, and where did they go? Simply put, many Sanawa people became Hopi and Zuni. As Peter Pillis explains, there is no greater testament to ancestral lineage than the story of the magician. After discovering a rich and important burial, John McGregor laid the items out on a table. When he asked the Hopi people who worked at the museum to look at the burial items and interpret the meanings, McGregor grabbed a few items and put them in his pocket. The Hopi people described the ceremony associated with the items and how they were used. Shortly after, the Hopi individuals stated there are a few things missing and detailed each item in McGregor's pocket. Indeed, Hopi and Zuni peoples are descendants of Sanawa groups.